Hello and welcome to Take It Off Tuesday. Woo! This week I'll be reviewing the Mask Bar Wrinkle Reducing Sheet Mask. I do apologize about the lighting. I bought a Diva Ring and I'm getting used to it. And of course I have a different backdrop. I've been doing all kinds of work in my house but it is still not near complete. I'll have to explain all that in another video. This is a mask actually I received in the Target Beauty Box. It's not a subscription. You just have to catch the box when it's available. I believe it is monthly, but the price varies, the items vary. This was one of the items recently. So it's a wrinkle reducing sheet mask by Mask Bar. It's collagen infused facial mask contours to your face to help reduce wrinkles and hydrate your skin, leaving it feeling soft and looking refreshed. It says that it's moisturizing, age defying, and softening. It says it contains green tea extract, collagen, and vitamin E. It does also have a snail secretion, filtrate, anise. So it does have some good ingredients in here. This is a Korean sheet mask, the Korean stuff. They love to use the snail business. I haven't really gotten into the snail business. I'm just a little weirded out by the slime, but it is very hydrating, so I suppose it's a thing. I have already cleansed my face. It does say thoroughly cleanse and dry the face. Open the packet, take out and unfold the mask, apply the mask to the face. Smooth the mask gently to ensure good contact with the skin. Wear the mask for 20 to 30 minutes. Remove the mask, peel off slowly from the edges. It does say avoid using if you have blemishes, pimples, irritated or sunburned skin. Consult a doctor if your face becomes red, swollen or itchy. Rinse it if you get in your eyes. This is interesting. Avoid using on skin which is sensitive to bandages or tape and don't store it under direct sunlight or ex in extreme temperatures. To prevent drying, use the mask at once after opening the top. So I will open it and put it right on my face. Okay, here we go. So open the packet. It is very saturated. Not drippy though. Unfold the mask. Oh, it has little eye flaps. Doesn't seem like it matters which way you put it on your face. I like that it has the uh, little cuts in it so that you can really shape it to your face. All right, well, hopefully you can see all the places where they've put slits in the mask. So it really makes it easy to fit your face. A lot of times they don't, they aren't flexible. You could cut them yourself, but it is nice that it's already cut for you. So it does seem like I have good contact with my face. I will leave that on for 30 minutes and we will see what happens. Hopefully all of my wrinkles will miraculously be gone. Yippee! It has been 30 minutes! Really impressed with the way the mask pretty much stayed in place pretty well everywhere all around my face. It has dried a bit, so I see what they mean where it's set on there to use at once because it does start drying up pretty quick. It is not slick. It's still on the skin and it feels silicone-y, but not sticky or slimy or weird. Okay, underneath there is still a bit moist. <laughs> Moist, isn't that the word that sets everyone off? Moist, moist, moist. I'm gonna need to let this dry a little bit more before I can talk about how my skin feels. When I took the mask off, I, it looked plump, I suppose. It definitely looks and feels hydrated. I'm not having any sort of dry patches. I mean, I think that looks nice. I don't necessarily know that it got rid of any of my fine lines and wrinkles here, but having hydrated skin will certainly help with that. The claims though, it says moisturizing, age defying, and softening. I definitely feel like it's moisturized. The age defying, I guess that comes with the, the collagen and the other good ingredients that were in there and the softening. Right now it's still a little bit, you can feel the product on there. It's not sticky, but it is sticky. Like when I touch it, my finger sticks just a little bit, but I feel like that will dry shortly. But it does, I think, feel soft. I do want to say that just after a minute or two of having it on, I did have a sensation on my skin. I don't really want to call it burning or stinging, but I certainly felt just a little bit of something. I feel like I understand why it said don't use it on blemishes, pimples, irritated or sunburned skin, because I think it certainly could irritate the skin if your skin was already irritated. The red, swollen, or itchy during or after use, unless you have very sensitive skin or you're allergic to one of the ingredients, I don't know why it would make you swollen or itchy. I could see maybe a little red, that sensation that I was having on my face that could stimulate blood flow. So I could see why you might have a little bit of redness, but that should go away. It shouldn't be something that would last. I do feel like it's a pretty decent mask. I went to their website. It is mask, M-A-S-Q-U-E dot bar. 
I uh, looked up the wrinkle reducing sheet mask, $7.49 for a three pack, basically $2.50 a piece. So that's pretty good for the price. I wouldn't actually purchase this because it does have denaturalized alcohol, well, alcohol denat in it, and that is the fourth ingredient. So I have been trying to avoid items with denaturalized alcohol or SD alcohol. If you're not opposed to the denaturalized alcohol or maybe you have oily skin, you're like, uh, oh, it doesn't bother me, dry some of it up, no problem, then I would say check that out. I mean, $2.50, I think that was very nice. I really like the way the mask contoured. That was very nice. Mask Bar definitely got it going on, the contouring. And on their website, they had many different types of the uh, sheet masks. So maybe there are some others that don't have the denaturalized alcohol. So I wouldn't be opposed to trying another one if just didn't have that ingredient. Hopefully this will help you. If you were thinking about trying one of those masks, I say, hey, give it a shot. You're in Target, find yourself with $2.00 and 50 cents spare money go for it thank you for watching subscribe to my youtube channel for other beauty related videos and i will see you beauties next time bye